Mollusks, the second largest group of creatures on Earth. They're in your backyard, they're in the salty sand, they're in the depths of the ocean. No matter where they live, these squishy invertebrates are well equipped for the job, making them one of the best examples of biodiversity under the sun. Each mollusk adapts its natural tools into something wildly different to thrive in their environment. So what makes a mollusk a mollusk? Well, as it turns out, there's no universal trait, but there are some common features, namely the foot, the mantle, and the radula. When I say foot, you may be thinking of how you walk or run, or maybe a dog or cat's paw. With mollusks, though, the definition is a bit looser. For your average crawling critter, like a snail or slug, the foot is a wide, flat muscle used for movement. That's the primitive foot, the basic canvas for a lot of adaptation artistry. Octopi, members of the class Cephalopoda, modify their foot into eight arms. Not only can they move around, they can hold things, mimic other shapes, and break out of aquariums. Bivalves, like clams, use their foot more like a tongue, but they're more interested in burying themselves than giving you a puppy dog lick. Just like the foot, the mantle isn't exactly what you'd expect. It's a soft organ that lays in a thick, protective layer over portions of a mollusk's skin. There are no hard shell rules for the mantle. Its shape and function is as diverse as the animals that use it. Some marine mollusks roll their mantle up into a tube called a siphon, usually used for breathing or eating, but squids have a special use. They're jet propelled. In many mollusks, like gastropods, chitons, and bivalves, the mantle produces a calcium carbonate shell over most of the animal. For some cephalopods, the mantle produces a shell inside the creature. In squids, it's called a pen because of its ink and quill appearance. Nudibranchs, better known as sea slugs, are one of the few rebels to the shell party. Why carry around that weight? This makes them especially sensitive to their environment, though. Moving around and protecting yourself is all well and good, but without a way to get food, nobody would last very long. That's why mollusks have a special set of tiny teeth called radula they use to eat a delicious meal, as diverse as every other aspect of this phylum's members. Most foraging snails scrape their radula along surfaces for bits of food, but some snails take a more mechanical approach. Their radula are modified into long, barbed harpoons filled with paralyzing venom. They hunt down and stun prey before swallowing them whole with their stretchy proboscis. Another strange structure is the beak, found in cephalopods and some bivalves. This sharp tool can bite and tear off food, which the animal's radula break up inside the mouth. All these changes come back to one purpose, dining efficiently. Between the ways they move, protect themselves, and enjoy a meal, mollusks have it all. Their variety knows no bounds. This phylum is just one of many fantastic examples of biodiversity we can see every day.